What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are eating at Colorado based fast food restaurants for an entire day. And so we're starting off with one of my favorite burger spots and that's Good Times. If there's one place that will have an item that represents Colorado, it's here because they have these chili cheese fries made with green chili. And if that doesn't scream Colorado, I don't know what does. So let's go ahead and jump on into the drive-thru and get our first order going. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, how can I help you? Yes, can I please try the uh, West Coast cheeseburger? Yeah, you want the combo? No, thank you, because I, I want to order some of those um, chili, green chili cheese fries. Okay, can you the drink? Um, I will just have water, please. Okay, and now what else can I get you? That should be it. All right, and you are 1175, thank you. Thank you. All right, 1175. I didn't bring my water bottle, so that was my first mistake. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get water here because I don't want to fill up on sugar because I got a few more places to go. But I want to try their new West Coast burger and I gotta show you guys these green chili cheese fries. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'll put a fork in next to your napkins. Please. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. You too. The bag is secured, so we're gonna go find parking, and then we're gonna try and head over to our next spot because it shouldn't be far from here. So a little fun fact about Good Times, they actually started in Boulder back in 1987. And another fun fact, my wife graduated from CU Boulder, so go Buffs. We got Deion Sanders as our coach now. Last year, we were just kinda getting things started, but should be much better this year. Okay, I got one of their new items. It's called a West Coast Burger. Not sure what makes it West Coast. It's got the patty, it's got the cheese, lettuce, onions, tomato, West Coast Burger sauce. So I guess that's what is that West Coast Burger is the sauce. All right, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this burger here. Oh, look at the cheese, okay. You open it up, you see all that nice and melty cheese. A lot of lettuce in there. I'm not a big raw tomato and onion fan, so I'm just gonna kinda take those off. And I wanna take out my fries. Come in this nice little box, I like that. And I'm definitely going to need a fork. You tell me, are you picky with your hamburger toppings? Comment below. I like lettuce, I like grilled onions, cheese of course, but yeah, we're gonna see what that West Coast sauce is, all right? That's what she looks like there. Love the melt on the cheese. Cheers. To me, this is a nice quality, affordable burger. I didn't get a double or anything like that. It's got good flavor on there. The cheese is melted nicely. I like the buns, they're nice and soft. It's an all around solid burger. This is the real reason I brought you here. <laughs> All right, let me open her up. Mm. I was burning my fingers already. So these are those green chili cheese fries. So this isn't your regular chili. Colorado's known for its green chili, and this is the thing to get. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into these fries. Just Guys, just take a, a quick look at this, okay? Mm, mm, so cheesy. They do cheese fries right. Mm. So cheesy. <clears throat> Immediately you start getting the kick from the green chili. <laughs> the guy inside is like, I'm gonna give you a fork and extra napkins. You're definitely gonna need extra napkins for this. Jeez Louise. You get those chunks of that green chili in there. They're really known for their breakfast burritos as well. I want to show you guys a breakfast burrito, but they stopped serving breakfast already, unfortunately. But these fries are where it's at. It's nice to see a Colorado-based fast food company making Colorado food. Okay, I can eat this whole thing, but I do have a couple other places that I do want to show you. Some might even be familiar to you if you don't live in Colorado. So stay tuned. I'm going to eat just a few more fries, and we're going to see you at the next spot. 
All right, our next stop is over at Noodles and Company, which I know has probably expanded into a lot of different uh, cities and states, but it actually originated in 1955, I didn't know it was that old, by Aaron Kennedy, and its headquarters are in Broomfield, Colorado. All right, so that's kind of far from me, but it's still in Colorado. So yeah, uh, these are everywhere here, probably one on every corner. I tried one of their new dishes, is their chicken and prosciutto tortelloni. All right, and this is $10.80 for this bowl. Hey, look at, they didn't align the, the two flaps here, so that's making my life more difficult. Urgh. Okay, so, now the lady inside it did tell me that the chicken and the prosciutto are inside of these tortellonis. They're not on the outside, but it looks like there's spinach and some mushrooms and a cream sauce. All right, um, you know, it's, it's a good size bowl. It's, they're small. And so this looks like, um, honestly, like a frozen TV dinner, but uh, hopefully it tastes better than it looks. Cheers. Okay, it does taste better than it looks. <laughs> They're nice and soft, they're cooked properly, and the inside is full of a ton of like different flavor, really salty. I like that. Really hard to see in there. It almost looks like ground meat, so you're really not missing much from as far as the visual goes. The sauce is nice, and I like the mushrooms in there. I don't think I need the raw spinach on there. I think I'm gonna probably give this a better rating than I thought initially, but I would go 3.6 out of five. Maybe it's the Italian in me giving it a chance. What is your favorite thing to get at Noodles & Company? They got all sorts of different bowls there, so I guess the sky's the limit. Pick your poison. But yeah, what do you like to order there? Comment below. All right, we got one last place to go. So if you like this video so far, please give a thumbs up and we'll see you at the next one. I know you're gonna know what this place is. All right, our third and final stop is Qdoba. Now you're gonna tell me, Nick, there is a Qdoba in every single city of every single state in America. Uh, and that's probably true because they did sell the company uh, to the company that owns Jack in the Box and all that just a few years ago. But let me tell you that it did start in the city of Denver, technically in 1955, as a place called Zuma Fresh Mexican Grill. And then later on, it kind of evolved into Qdoba. Uh, so that's kind of um, the, the history on that. But yeah, it is a Denver-based restaurant. And you know what I had to get because everybody knows what Qdoba is famous for, and that's the queso, all right? Now, I got more than just the queso, so bear with me. But of course, we're gonna eat some queso at Qdoba. It wouldn't be a Denver spot unless we had something to dip into. All right, so. Look at that. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit gelatinous here, right? It's kind of swooshing around in that cup. But yeah, there's that nice, delicious, ooey, gooey queso, right? Goes on everything. Here we go. Oh yeah. It's cheesy, it's spicy. What I love is that it's not too artificial tasting. So there's gotta be some real cheese in there somewhere. Mm. If anything, I think the chips aren't as fresh as they could be, which is strange because they just opened that too long ago. Chips are kind of missing for me right now, but that queso is delicious. All right, so we were literally having camera issues as I'm filming. I think I got it straightened away here. But yes, I did not just get the queso over Qdoba. I also got their surf and turf bowl. This has their new uh, lime citrus shrimp in there. And that was $14.25. Grand total, I spent $22.14 on this bowl and chips and queso over Qdoba. So a little bit pricey, but again, this is steak and um, shrimp inside of this bowl. And it's a pretty good looking bowl. Take a look at that. Okay, we got the avocado in there. I have salsa, we have rice and beans. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that shrimp first because this is their new item, that citrus lime shrimp. For Qdoba, I mean the size are fine and the flavor is good. Are they a little bit overcooked? Sure, but they're sitting there in that warmer. So what could you expect? Not terrible. Steak, let's see here. Mm. 
Yum. Got a good flavor on that steak. Nice and grilled on the outside, still tender. All right, now let's start mixing things around here. I want to get a bite with the avocado, the rice, the beans, steak, and shrimp all together. Mm. I put the extra spicy salsa on there. It's tickling that tongue pretty good. <laughs> I'm digging it. I'm liking the shrimp. I'm liking the surf and turf bowl. $14.50, sure. With seafood in there, I could see that. And a nice chunk of avocado in there. It's a good bowl. It's springtime. The sun's coming out. It's getting warmer. Surf and turf bowl just seems right. Citrus lime avocado. I mean, bring on the heat. I am over the cold. I'm over the snow. I think it's still supposed to snow one more time here in Denver. Not looking forward to the snow because I am going to be on a flight on Tuesday to Costa Rica. So I'll be bringing you guys content from Costa Rica when I go. But I don't want it to snow and then have to go to the airport and de-ice the plane. And it just makes for a bad experience. So I'm just hoping we can escape the snow before we fly out. So there you have it, everyone. Those are three fast food restaurants that were based in Colorado, but there are so many more Denver-based fast food companies that you probably don't even know about. And there's a car that's trying to parallel park right next to me, and I almost thought they were gonna hit me. If you like this series, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.